Well, we, we are awful proud of our out system. Ron Biggs and his group have just done a tremendous job. We're in partnerships with the university. I think we're going to hit close to a million five hundred thousand in ridership this year, and I just simply don't know what we'd do without them. Well, the way the transit works for us is obviously we have limited parking on campus, and we sell limited permits for those spaces we have, which has kind of pushed the students a little bit out of, out of the campus, out into the parking areas that we call parking ride. Transit par brings those folks in every day, and, and they run about every three to seven minutes between the buses. So a lot of students come into campus that way. They don't buy permits at all. So transit is certainly a, a plus for what we do. Transportation is a very important part of our program. The vast majority of our clients either don't drive or don't have access to vehicles. And uh, in order to get them into our clinic for our services, we have to provide transportation services. Critical not only to Oxford, but the University of Mississippi and Lafayette County through, through our RSVP program. They will come and pick you up, take you to the doctor, grocery store. It's a fantastic program. I use it because uh, it's a great help for me. I uh, had no way of getting from one place to the other, and it was like a lifesaver to me. They're very courteous, kind, and thoughtful, and I haven't had not one problem at all. A nice, friendly face makes a day. By Clabba being available, it was like uh, heaven sent to me. Oh, it's great. I got my information through the Veterans Administration. The young lady steered me to the Climb Up program. I was taken in almost immediately. They just required just a little information. Right away, I got, I got results. And uh, I tra I'm, I'm about 15 miles, 15 to 18 miles from the VA clinic. And I have to go up there twice a month and they're there on time to pick me up. I've never had to wait. A lot of them would not be coming in for services. They'd be staying at home. Most of them are in the rural areas, and the vast majority of them would not be getting mental health services without assistance that we get from our transportation, MDOT, public transit. Public transit affects the very fabric of your community.